This is probably the best Ferrari fragrance that I've ever smelled. Hey, what's up guys? It's Josh here. Today I want to do a little review on this Ferrari's Scudra Forte. This is the third Ferrari fragrance that I'm reviewing. I reviewed the original F Black. It was okay, just not for me. And then I reviewed Bright Neroli, which I really, really liked. Very high quality, didn't last that long. I just found it to be too feminine. So it's my second go around here or actually third go around with the Ferrari line. Let's jump into the notes of this fragrance. To be honest, personally, I don't really get too many of these notes. There were several times where I was double checking to make sure I had the right bottle, and I was also watching other fragrance reviewers. They were kind of describing it way differently than I was, so I was like, man, I don't know if this has been reformulated or if I have the right bottle, but from everything that I could see, this is the correct bottle. The notes online are plum, vanilla, cinnamon, pineapple, apple, and patchouli. To be honest, I don't really get many of those notes the notes that I get are green apple with a little bit of challengingness to it I don't know if it's like medicinal or a little bit of musk but overall green apple and then there's kind of like this background of this graininess and it's kind of like weird having a graininess in a fragrance like this usually something like Versace Pour Homme or Dolce and Gabbana's light blue where it's very citrusy and very fresh that's where they use the graininess it is a little bit unusual for a fragrance like this to contain that graininess and I also do think that when I was testing this I wasn't super impressed I noticed that once it became nighttime and this got on the air, it did smell a lot better. It does have a general amount of sweetness, so that makes sense that the sweetness kind of smells better at nighttime and in the winter and fall. It improved what I thought of the smell once I smelled it at night. Let's jump into the pros of this fragrance. The pros, I think it's a slight improvement to Ferrari F Black. Now, Ferrari F Black it had a lot of that green apple style smell. A lot of the same elements are going into this. This is about 70%, 80% of Ferrari Black, but Ferrari Black didn't have that graininess, and Ferrari Black was a little bit more simple. Uh, to be honest, I'm not a super, super big fan of this green apple style smell. And on top of that, it doesn't smell the most hard to create or the most natural. It has a little bit of syntheticness to it, so I'm not super, super on board with the green apple and I think this one actually pulls it off better than F black in my opinion so if you liked Ferrari F black I do recommend this one being better for me personally then it was very interesting the way that it used that graininess I kind of had to put that in a pro in the air and in the dry down it is a lot more well blended but I do appreciate that they kind of wanted to do something different I don't have anything that smells like green apple with this graininess so it almost creates a little bit of its own unique smell within the designer game so that's pretty nice and then the last big pro here is that the dry down smells very very good if you're somebody who found the opening to be a little strong again the only time that I find that it to be too strong is when you spray it and you get really really up close there you can see the distinct green apple and graininess and it just is a little bit of a confusing scent right up close but like in the air much much more smooth and then the dry down like I was saying is its best part it is a little bit more safe and likable but I really really did like the dry down on this one that was definitely Definitely the best part in my opinion. Let's go on to the cons. The cons is that there's a slight medicinal cheapness to it that's really kind of hard for me to get around. I do smell it. I've smelled it the whole time that I've sprayed it. I've slowly started to like this fragrance a little bit more, but this is one of those ones that I just tried to like it a lot in the beginning and it just wasn't really clicking the way that other fragrances have. I think overall it smells pretty good in the right environment. It has a little bit of this sweetness and people were saying it's not the best for work. It definitely doesn't have that robust work style smell and, and even for clubbing and things like that I would go with something else and it is a tad cheap smelling and then it doesn't last super super long although people say you shouldn't spray it four or five times because it is so strong it doesn't really last super long although it is above average I'll probably give this one a 7.5 for the smell I've been trying to figure it out but overall because of my likability for it because it was it took me so long to learn to appreciate this and I was spraying it and I was wanting to wear other stuff when I smelled it on me I'm gonna have to give this one a 7.5 likability I'm gonna have to give this a straight 7.52 there's not too much that makes me think that everyone's gonna hate it or love it kind of right in the middle and it has elements that are likable but it also has elements that I don't think are as likable either so 7.5 seems good for longevity and projection I'll give this between a 7 to a 7.5 I will say when I first sprayed this up I think it lasted between 10 and 12 hours on my skin which I was actually a little surprised I kind of felt like this was gonna be like a six to eight hour fragrance so 7 to a 7 7.5 this was a very right down the middle entry I do think it is better than Ferrari F black this is probably the best Ferrari fragrance that I've ever smelled but I haven't 
been wowed enough by Ferrari yet. I think I got this for about $25, maybe $27 after tax. I watched another guy's video where he paid like $80 for this and bought multiple bottles. It doesn't smell that good to me. Maybe it's been reformulated, I don't know. This is just a very solid entry and for people who like Ferrari Black, I would say this is a little bit better. I guess if I was gonna give you a suggestion to get instead of this, I would go with Bentley's Momentum Intense. It's sweet, you kind of wear it around the same time. You could probably get away with Momentum Intense around work a little bit better and I think it smells better in the daytime. I just say Momentum Intense probably does everything that this does, but, mo but Momentum Intense is a little bit better. Nonetheless, I am not sad that I tried this very interesting to try this i really like the bottle i really liked a lot of stuff they did here and i can't wait to come across a ferrari fragrance that truly wows me and forces me to put one on the top 10 and also i just love the name ferrari there's so many car companies but ferrari just it's so high class and it's so easy to say and it even sounds better than something like lamborghini even though i used to like lamborghinis more than ferraris ferrari it's just got that clean like, ritzy sounding name i really do enjoy it but anyways guys let me know which fragrances i should review next let me know which ferrari fragrances i should also check out we're on the road to 25,000 subscribers and i couldn't do it without any of you guys help you guys are the best i'm having a great day out here hopefully you're having a great day at home see you all in the next video peace